What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and yes, it's really windy outside today. So it's gonna be a little bit loud and I'm sorry about that, but we are back, back for another video. We are back doing our UPS runs. I love these runs, they're straight and simple and I freaking love it. It's just Florida to Florida. Sometimes it's Tampa, sometimes it's Miami and back to Jacksonville. So yeah, let's get to that video real quick. And by the way, if you guys have not seen, I am rebuilding this drive-in right here and it is very special. It is a convertible. Yeah, and by convertible, I mean it's missing a roof. I am doing a couple episodes on this drive-in that I'm rebuilding. It hit a low bridge or it hit a big ass tree or something and it just completely destroyed the roof portion of it. Ripped the whole roof out. I already have two episodes out on my channel. Go ahead and subscribe and watch those videos. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect from this trailer because we are bobtailing over there and this is a power only load. Let's go. And like always, there's nothing new in here, except I have my electric scooter in here. I did a commercial on that and you guys seen it. This thing is pretty sweet. It's good to get around. If it's a couple miles away, you need to go eat or something. Very nice. Also, all my regular dash cams are still here. I got my CarMate um, TPMS system here. I always turn it off before I come in the truck and it gives me all the little digicals on my tire pressure reader. It's pretty nice, really, really great system. I'm really glad they reached out to me and I installed it. I'm glad some of you guys actually bought it from my link below. And yeah, we got, what do we got? 20, what does that say? 20, almost 23,000 miles on this boy, girl, whatever she is. I'm already on my, Woo. Batteries are a little low. I'm already on my second oil change. If you guys seen the previous video, I made fun of a lot of people um, trying to tell me what to do with my truck. And yeah, that was fun to make. Uh, check engine light is still on because I, I checked the engine and uh, it, the engine's still there. So we're good there. Let's go. Alrighty, got confirmation that we are actually going to Miami and that's very good because the more miles, the more I get paid. And like always, fellas, you guys already know that I will tell you this load rate for this load at the end of the video, so stay tuned. you guys see it correctly we are back at our favorite railroad station yeah this is railway freight right here for ups guys hopefully we get our trailer because i always come about one hour early and sometimes the train's not late but sometimes it is and i gotta wait an extra hour but it's okay we'll see hopefully get, they have their stuff together and we get our trailer fast let's pause the video real quick and talk about this awesome electric bike one of the best bikes I have ever ridden on and would be great to take with you on the road trucking or just to use around the house or even the beach. Has the 26 inch fat tire that will have no issues with the snow, mud or sand. Comes with the dual braking systems with disc brakes. 500 watt high speed brushless motor with the upgraded 36 volt lithium ion battery that can go over 19 miles pure electric power or can pedal assist for even more range. Check out Ecotrick's website down below for more details and a $260 off your first bike purchase. Now, let's get back to the video. And there she is, container. All right. I'm gonna show you guys when you're carrying these container chassis what to check for because these chassis are so messed up this one actually looks brand new but you always got to check the tires i mean i've had a couple times when i'm when i was not recording oh my goodness my fat buck ain't even fit through there i think gotta check all the tires uh, you gotta beat on the tires like you beat your women you know okay i can't fit bro what happened here oh all right that's good and this chassis right here is contained connected to this container and you got these little swivels you see it's unlocked you can't drive like this it will slide off and you will flip your truck so you got these little levers 
you click these in and there's these little things that these are safety pins right here it doesn't let you go back and you see how it twisted it like that this chassis is actually pretty new so it has it has these things we'll see and this is not gonna it's not gonna fly off oh my god Oh, they gotta have a new, tr new truck and like that. It's so loud and obnoxious and annoying. But yeah, and if you are worried about this slipping off, you take a zip tie and you tie it around this. I'm not gonna do that, but a lot of people can if you want. Let's go ahead and hook up. Oh wait, actually, let me show you the front what you gotta look at also. I don't know if you guys can be able to see it, but you see these dial pins right here? These dial pins snap in to this container right in between the container and the frame. And it's already clicked in this thing's already on you see and th this dial pin slides back and in when it's slided in this way there's a little safety pin right here yeah i'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this on there just in case both sides and then we should be good to go And quick tip on a container, the lines hang pretty low on this chassis. So my lines would have been dragging on my catwalk here. So all you have to do is grab a bungee or you have two of these and they're adjustable, but mine's not. And then I grab the bungee and I put it right here. So it stretches it a little bit. So it's not touching the catwalk. You don't want to rub through these lines. It's like 170 bucks for these lines. It kind of sucks. And it's DOT not friendly. So yeah, don't do that. kind of hard to get out of here that was sus all right we are rolling boys let's get going we have about 350 miles and it is about 2 30 so we will be hitting probably a little bit of traffic in miami area but no big deal i love these routes these routes are very sweet and very easy i don't know what's going on today but there has been traffic for almost one hour now back and forth i'm speeding up to 60 65 back down to 30 i don't know just one of them days it is friday so everybody's uh you know crashing and all don't know how to drive here in florida got the sun setting to our right and we still have about 200 miles left until we reach Miami area to drop off this container and yeah some of you guys had a couple questions about containers when I did that UPS video railway freight for UPS blah 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 that video right there yeah you had a couple questions and sorry I didn't answer most of them but yeah containers uh, hauling containers is kind of dangerous I wouldn't really recommend it for especially if a guy is starting truck driving and he's doing it i would not recommend it because they are a little bit heavy because they're all metal all, all around and also they are top heavy so meaning the chassis is kind of high up and uh yeah it's it's heavy pretty much everywhere and you need to be careful taking turns on a dry van or whatever you guys can take some sharp turns but with this it's really not allowed not recommended uh yeah because a high chance of rollover i guess this should be the segment of my video where i try to answer some questions from the comments of my previous videos i try to answer all of them guys i just i really can't it depends on like if it's 100 comments 200 comments like i try but i rather answer them here it's a lot more appalling for me it's a lot better but there's a couple questions from my rebuild of that dry van especially to you haters i love you haters like always man you know i i gotta show you haters some love and uh yeah you guys telling me that this dry van is a piece of garbage this thing belongs in the scrapyard 
and I will never rebuild it. This thing, the first load you put on this thing is gonna collapse, blah, 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 blah. I've heard it all before, especially with this Volvo rebuild. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go back to my episodes that I'm rebuilding this Volvo. This Volvo right here has been completely upside down. Engine transplant, heart transplant, axle transplant, every, everything, every little bolt pretty much was touched by yours truly. And she is running fine other than, you know, that light right there, which for some reason I can't get rid of because it's malfunctioning. But other than that, other than that, she is driving good. And that drive-in is also going to be driving good. Okay, so yeah, for all you commenters that don't believe in me, just go ahead and subscribe, okay? And uh, if you don't believe me, you'll see. But there was a lot of great comments. <laughs> There's a lot of great people out there uh, that believe in me and they think this is so easy and that I'm gonna do this within a month, which is true. It's not that much work. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, it is a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be a lot of work. And in the end of rebuilding up the dry van, I will tell you guys exactly how much that thing cost me in total so stick tuned for that usually before i go into what is that Usually before I go into Miami area, I stop at this last truck stop. Well, truck stop, where am I? Arrest area. And I make sure that I'm not deleting any tires. Make sure everything's all good because it's really expensive to get service done around Miami area. And I'd rather get it done here if there is something wrong. I have to do this every time I'm doing power only. Every time I'm doing, uh, you know, UPS loads. I think everybody knows why because these trailers are garbage but i think we're good everything looks good all the pins are there we didn't delete ourselves i released the kraken if you guys know what i'm saying and yeah let's go deliver this trailer all right we are here finally felt like forever but told me to drop it at bay 10 and bobtail out of here i usually ask do i gotta empty heading back and he said no there is nothing it is very slow boys economy's crashing i'm telling you I got checked out and I'm just sitting right outside their facility. I have to do a 30 minute break. So when I hit on duty, when I came here and then you can do yard move, that counts for your off duty 30 minutes, you know, break. So I got another 15 minutes left and we are heading out. I'm just gonna haul butt straight to Jacksonville. It's 10 o'clock at night. How is there traffic in Miami? Like. I just, you know, hate is a very strong word, but I dislike this city so much. I mean, just like a hundred miles from Fort Lauderdale all the way here. I mean, it's horrible, horrible place. Well, I guess I got my answer there because all of these bikers are pretty much shutting down this highway. Look at all these four wheelers and these, <laughs> these little uh, crotch rockets. Oh my goodness. Dang, they stopped the whole highway over there too, bruh. They're just wasting my time. Can't believe it. <sighs> oh my goodness, bro, why? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's literally right here. They shut down this whole highway. They're all doing burnouts and wheelies over there. I'm stuck right here, right where they're doing it. I mean, I wouldn't mind a show if I was much closer. Come on, boys. But I'm so far away, can't even see nothing. Uh, I remember those days when you mess around. The more you mess around, the more you find out. Yeah, they're gonna find out. Would you just look at this mess? Oh, somebody actually got hurt. Wow. Can you believe it? Somebody actually got hurt. Oh, they actually hit a car. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, this guy's undercover or something. 
bruh. Look at these people. Look at these people, man. They think they got some sort of authority or something. Idiots, dude. I guess this just proves my point how much I despise Miami area. And this just kind of helped it just slightly. I mean, why would you just go around and go like 70, 80 miles per hour and do wheelies on a four wheeler and just mess around? I just. I just don't understand. Just go rob a liquor store or something, you know? Why are you gonna be messing around on a highway? It's not a joke. I mean, look, we got we got little sh str stranglers right there. I don't know if you guys, <laughs> while I'm saying it, look, he got no headlight, no nothing, and he got a GoPro though. I mean, video's gonna be somewhere. They're everywhere. I guess it is a Friday night. I don't know, boys. What an ending, huh? All right, hopefully nothing else happens. Let's keep on rolling. <laughs> So we got $900 right there, $900. I don't know if it's gonna be blurry or not. 183, get almost 184 gallons, $900. We're actually only 20 minutes away from home. Well, you know, where I park my truck because we are bobtail, yay. It's, it's late though, it's like 3 a.m. Alrighty, it is dark. <coughs> And it is 3.30 and I'm cold. And uh, we are back uh, where we were first parked. From beginning to end, we are back. So yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoy this trip. And uh, yeah, it was a doozy, man. I mean, a typical UPS run, except meeting a bunch of, I don't know, rebel bikers in Miami. I don't know what the heck all that was about. But all I do know is you guys probably wanna know the load rate, but there is a catch. You guys remember last time, load rate was not very specific because of a battle going on between brokers for these ups loads so i could not mention who and where and how much exactly but i will give you guys in between price how much this load was it was from jacksonville florida to miami and then back to jacksonville sometimes you get a trailer back empty sometimes you bobtail back it just depends on what they want you to do so this load paid between 1500 to 1800 dollars use your imagination it is what it is. Can't, sorry, just can't tell you the right amount, okay? Yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys understand. But yeah, I'm going to sleep. It's it's late and uh, yeah, got work to do tomorrow on this drive-in trailer. Got a bunch of new parts. Gonna be doing a great video for you guys. Stay tuned for that, subscribe, and like always, be blessed. Deuces. <laughs>